August 11th, <clears throat> August 11th, it's August 2nd, <laughs> and it's 7.11 p.m., I'm at the camp, and um, yeah, we just, it is Monday, man, I lose track, in, I lose track of days out here. So we just had our big weekend. Uh, we had our f first annual Two-Spirit Black Racialized Community Gathering here at the camp. Um, throughout the day, we must have had about 100 people show up, which is good. Um, yeah, things to change for next year. But yeah, like it was good. Uh, we had our settler allies, volunteers, uh, do COVID tests and take names at the gate, which was really great. Um, yeah, we had Stephen and a bunch of other folks volunteer to cook lunch. Joanne Absalon and their family made Indian tacos for dinner. Yeah, I could just I could go on and on about the day. It was it was amazing. CTV showed up, um, which was great, and did some coverage. It was good. It was a lot of laughs. Just created space for the community to gather. Now that we're in phase three. Um, we had a bunch of vendors. The vendors did really good. And then, uh, we also flew down my good friend, Sylvia McAdam from Treaty 6 and one of the co-founders of Idle No More. Uh, they came and spent the weekend with us with their grandson, Grayson, who just came out and, uh, they stayed with us all weekend. And then, uh, Sylvia did some talks Friday evening, um, Friday evening. Saturday evening. Yeah, and then we just hung out with the campers and it was good. It was good for the campers just to be able to spend time with her and talk to her and <clears throat> it was good. Uh Sylvia and I's friendship has been uh, amazing since uh oh, there's a red card now that just landed on the picnic table. Um yeah, I'm really grateful for Sylvia's friendship. Uh her and I have been friends for a very long time. And uh we laugh because we are the they're the only friend they have, the only friend I have where we can actually continue to meet in other parts of the world. Like every time we meet up, it's somewhere new. And um, yeah, her and I have just done a bit of traveling, so it's been cool. Anywho, that's about it. Um, I'll probably talk more later this week about what's been going on. Um, it's been a good week. I'm exhausted. I'm just about to head home. And, uh, for a couple days and do some work, edit some photos. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty exhausted, so I'm looking forward to going home for a couple days. Miigwech.